Good evening, everyone. The closure of the Sullivan Arena homeless shelter to most people yesterday means many more people are spending their nights outside. Ten camps are popping up, but as Lauren Maxwell tells us, the city says there's not a lot it can do to stop them or make the move. By some estimates, there are more than 600 unsheltered people living in Anchorage right now. They're putting up tents in public places, including here at Cuddy Park. This summer, like every summer, city work crews will be out cleaning up at homeless camps. But one thing they won't be doing is a baiting camp. Okay, well, it's good to talk to you, man. Without an available shelter, they can't legally make people move. Folks uh, won't be asked to leave because there's not shelter space, which is one of the abatement requirements. And instead, we're visiting the camps and cleaning in and around folks. Crews are handing out bags and taking away garbage. Just pick up your trash and leave it. We'll pick it up for you. The plan is to visit here twice a week, possibly providing porta potties and a dumpster. While many tents are new. This is all trash right here? Yeah. OK. Kyla Friedenblum has been here all winter. She was thrilled city crews were there to help her clean it up. Usually we don't look this messy. <laughs> it happened all before uh, snow hit last year, but you know, I'm just grateful that they're here today to help, yeah. The tents at Cuddy are not the only ones that have sprung up seemingly overnight. Yesterday we were at 26 tent sites. Today we're at 38. Rob Couples owns a vacation rental business directly across the street from the old Native Hospital site on 3rd Avenue. They look out the living room window, and this is what they're looking at. He says the tents are threatening his livelihood. He blames the mayor and the assembly for failing to figure it out. They've allowed a situation to happen where we have literally handed them tents and shoved them out the door and just good luck and push them right into our green spaces after years of trying to do exactly the opposite. It's a situation that may get worse before it gets better. There are more folks than ever this summer uh, that are going to be on the street and in public places and in parks. City crews are asking for patience and say they'll do the best that they can. The head of Parks and Rec says they would still like people to report homeless camps on the city website, muni.org. It doesn't mean they'll move them or even clean them, but they say the data is useful for the city to have. Lauren Maxwell, Alaska's News Source.